all right guys now how to find mean median mode and mid range in statistic so we have taken this example and we will be uh, seeing this example and we will find the mean median mode and mid range and we will do another example and at the end of this video we will also see the theory behind these four terms that is mean let me show you okay let me show you right here this one we will also see the theory so let's first see practically so we have this example you can call it data observation or you can call it data or you can call it values now first step while finding mean median mode mid range from ungrouped data because this is ungrouped data you have to use the first step arrange data in ascending order okay so we have this data this data has been given randomly by anyone but we'll have to arrange it first before finding out mean median mode <clears throat> so after arranging it will be 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 12 okay now the second thing we need to find out mean so for ungrouped data in statistic we have formula for mean that is x will be equal to sum of all observation you can call it sum of all data or sum of all values divided by number of observation now what does it mean this is our data first you need to add all these values okay after that the result will be added with the number of all this data so we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have 9 number number of data observation is 9 so after adding we have 49 result and we have divided it with 9 and finally we got 6.333 and this is our mean okay this is our mean now let's find out the median when you when you want to find out median from ungrouped data then it is very simple you don't need to use any formula just the mid value just the mid value of your data after arranging point to be noted after arranging data the mid value will be your median now how we can uh, find how we can find easily it so i will uh, tell you very simple method you need to eliminate first element from right and eliminate first element from left so eliminating 2 eliminating 12 eliminating 3 eliminating 10 eliminating 4 and eliminating 8 eliminating 5 eliminating 7 so we got a single piece of value within this data observation so it's mean that this is the mid value and we consider it median okay <clears throat> so you can easily find out median but here is a trick and we will see in the second example within ungrouped data now how to find more very simple there is two way within ungrouped data within ungrouped, uh, ungrouped data observation when you want to find out more then you'll have to see two things most often value or high value i repeat most often value or high value so within this data observation if we check for most often value there is no most often value that has been occurred a lot but we can we can go through with the second definition that is high value so what is the high value within this data observation very simple 12 so we can say that 12 is our mode okay now find how to find range for finding a range within uh, ungrouped data we have formula that maximum value of this data and minimum value you have to subtract minimum value from the maximum value so in our case we have 12 is the maximum value and 2 is the minimum value so we have to subtract 2 from 12 and our final result will be 10 so it's mean that our range within this data observation is 10 okay now how to find mid range now you don't need to worry and you don't need to confuse between range and mid range when you want to find out mid range then within ungrouped data i repeat within within ungrouped data then you have to use this formula 
maximum value of your data observation will be added with the minimum value of your data observation and whatever the result will be it will be divided by 2 let's see so we have maximum value 12 and minimum value 2 within this data observation after adding them we have 14 if we divide 14 by 2 then we got the result 7 so it's it's mean that we get to 7 as a mid range now before jumping into this example before jumping into this example let me show you the theoretical part now what is mean mean is nothing but average which is found by adding up all the values whatever you have data observation first you need to add them all and after that you have to divide them by the total number of that values very simple mean is average and the formula you have to add all the values and then you have to divide by the number of that values very simple now what is median median is the middle number in your set of values in your data observation in your data and if you want to find it out then eliminate numbers from uh, first you have to arrange the data and after that you have to eliminate numbers from left as well as right and whatever the final value remains in the mean then you have to consider it median now what is mode very simple to definition which appears most often the value that which appears most often or to find mode you need to count how many times each value appears or you can say the highest value range difference between lowest and the highest value and mid range is exactly the halfway between the minimum and maximum numbers in a data set let let focus here focus you need to focus to work out the mid range you you must find the sum of both the smallest and largest values and after that you have to divide it by two that's why first i added the lowest value and the largest value and after that i divided them by two because because mid range is the halfway between the minimum and, and maximum values you can also get check this uh, picture and you can get the concept of mode mean median right there but we will see the other example now this example is very interesting because we have this data and it is already arranged and we don't need to arrange it but you can uh, write it again so first step first arrange data but it is already arranged now the second step we have to find the mean so use the same formula sum of all observation divided by number of observation so in uh, in this case we have total after adding all these values we got uh, 195 and we have eight values one two three four five six seven eight so we have to divide the total by the number of these values so total divided by number and whatever you got this will be your mean okay very simple now what is median so the mid value again but this time interesting part now eliminate right side eliminate left side so 5 40 after that 10 35 eliminate 15 and 30 but here we got two values because because we can't eliminate these two values i eliminated 540 10 35 15 30 now we uh, there remain only two values but we need only one value so sometime within ungrouped data you got two values okay you got two values while finding the median so what you have to do you, you have to use a formula in this case you have to use a formula the formula will be something like this that median will be equal to th these two values that you remain add them and divide by two because we want the average we want the mid value between this 25 and 15 okay so after adding 15 and 25 it will be 40 and 40 divided by 2 it will be 20 now let's see right here so between 50 15 and 25 what is the mid value just imagine what is the mid value very simple 20 20 is the mid value so it is the average and we can say that 20 is the median in that in this case so sometime you will face this case then you don't need to worry and just eliminate from left right uh, or, le or right to left and whatever you got at the final result maybe two values then use this formula okay now mode now we have discussed two definition for mode most often value or high value so there is higher value 40 does we consider this 40 that it is a mid no 
द फर्स्ट डिफिनेशन से दैट मोस्ट ऑफन वैल्यू मोस्ट ऑफन वैल्यू मीन दैट मोस्ट अकरिंग इन योर डेटा सेट सो एज यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव टू टाइम्स फिफ्टीन सो इट्स मीन दैट दिस इज द मी सॉरी मोड वी हैव टू टाइम्स फिफ्टीन एंड वी विल कंसिडर इट आर मोड बिकॉज दिस इज मोस्ट ऑफन अकरिंग वैल्यू एंड दिस a mode is called by mode and in upcoming videos we will dis we will be discussing mode types as well now what is range the same formula max minus mean so 40 is the maximum value and 5 is the minimum value so subtract 5 from 40 it will be 35 now mid range the same formula first you need to add the maximum and minimum and you have to divide it because it is the half way for minimum and maximum values so after doing that it will be 22.5 so i hope that you like this video if you like then subscribe coding world and like this video so see you in the next video